All right, guys, so here is my ant farm. See it? This here is my colony of yellow crazy ants. They've got ant hills being built there. You see them? Now, I wanted to show you guys what happens when a typhoon hits an ant nest. Have you ever wondered what happens when a typhoon hits? Like, let's say there's a flood. What do the ants do? Well, I'm gonna show you how ants, like these yellow crazy ants, deal with floods and water. So here we go. I'm going to create a mini typhoon in this golden empire, the yellow crazy ant colony of mine. Here we go. So I'm just gonna pour water on to the ground. Water, water, water. Yes, feed these plants and watch what happens. All the ants are going crazy, you see that? They're going nuts. And if you look carefully over here, let me point to them. See there? In this hole here and over there at the back now, they're starting to bring out the babies. All of those little things that look like rice. Here, let's zoom in. You might notice they're carrying little white things. There, see? Those little white things that are coming out of the hole? Those are babies. They're bringing them to drier land. So this is what happens when... Hey! A moth just landed in there. This is what happens when... Oh, that moth is gonna die. Uh, this is when, what happens when there's a flood, when there's a typhoon. The ants instantly start shipping the babies to drier land, to drier areas. And that's how they survive. See? Those little white things, they look like grains of rice. Those are cocoons, those are pupae. And that's what happens, Mabuhay Squad. Every time it rains in the Philippines, you see ants taking care of the babies. See that? Aren't ants beautiful? Good morning, Mabuhay Squad! Yes! We're here, we're gonna go look for land. Manila is so hot right now. Wow. It's hotter in Dubai. It's hotter in Dubai. But it's like, a, the heat is different. Like here, it's like a heavy, um, humid heat. Woo! Hot! Look at how busy it is. <laughs> Manila is just, there's so much stimulation everywhere. It's an adventure at every turn. Look. You can't get bored here. How can you be bored of this? Stimulation everywhere you look. See? Even what you're walking on, you need to pay attention because you might fall into a random hole or like stub your toe on something. It's just like, you gotta be awake. So many colors, sounds, noises. It's amazing. And right when I said, watch where you're stepping, I stepped on gum. Yeah, hop this. Yes. I swear it's like a video game. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Super Mario's. Hello, sir. We have, we have yes, YouTube. Yes, I'm a YouTube maker. Look at this coconut juice, guys. We'll buy some later, okay? We'll be back. Okay, we've decided to go for Chinese. Thank God we're inside now again. I know. Well, I like the heat. RJ doesn't like heat. So when we go into buildings where there's air conditioning, he's so relieved. RJ's cold loving. Me, I'm hot loving. Like, RJ didn't like the heat from Dubai. I loved it. Maybe it's because I grew up in Canada where cold meant winter and meant winter meant like snow shoveling and <laughs> trudging through like three feet of snow. Ugh. It is cold. Guys, my YouTube shade. Of course, we have tea. I love it. All Chinese places should offer free tea. There are some places in Philippines that don't offer free tea and I... That bothers me for some reason. Tea should be free and so should water. I know people who come here from say Canada or US. They spend some time here in Philippines and they say 
after spending 24 hours in Manila, it feels like they've spent a whole week <laughs> abroad. It's like there's so much going on and so much stimulation that you're so tired by the end of the day if you're not used to Manila life because everything is so stimulating, everything's moving so fast. Guys, it's 34 degrees in Mandaluyong right now. That was the same, that's around the same temperature as Dubai. But for some reason, Dubai felt nicer, I think, because no. it was dry. All right, the food has arrived. This is interesting right here. What is this? It's, tofu. oh, it's tofu with chopped up something. This chicken. All right, so we've got tofu. We've got beef with asparagus. See? Mmm. Nice, healthy Chinese lunch. I'm a little messy, though. Ooh. Guys, asparagus. Oh, mm. Mushroom. Tofu. Mmm. Mm. That's some good tofu. Mmm. Beef. Mmm. Mmm. Good beef. Oh my gosh, guys. See this? <gasps> this is so yummy. Wasabi prawns. It is so delicious. The best. Mm. Mm. The wasabi. Wow. So good. Oh my gosh, that wasabi was strong. Yummy. Guys, so I'm excited because we're going to buy Ate Elsie a new cell phone. I love shopping for other people. This is gonna be fun. Guys, see this plant here? I grew up in Canada and my mom had this plant growing in a pot, but it was small. But look, it just grows in the wild here. <laughs> that trips me out. It's just awesome and I had no idea it was such a big tree. All right, guys, we are going to have coconut juice. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at this dog. Hello, po. Look at this dog. Hello. Is this an Ascal? It's your dog? Oh, he's cute. Yes, you're so cute. Anong pangalan niya? Huh? Chow Chow, ang, ang name niya? His name is Chow Chow, but he's not a Chow Chow. That's so funny. Anong pangalan mo? Inori. Inori. Wow. Hi, Inori. For those of you who ask what kind of hair I have, if I grow it out, it looks like him. I have the exact same hair as Inori. This dog's so cute. Kuya over here is chopping the coconut. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> wow. What's he doing now? Oh, the meat. Oh, I see. Cool. He's gonna scrape it off. Mm, look at that. Coconut flesh. Wow. Awesome. That looks really good, Mabuhay Squad. Mm. See guys, fresh coconut. You can just buy it off the street here, anytime. It's 30 pesos, so less than a dollar. It's 30 pesos, less than a dollar. Super hot, this is super hot. Yeah, it's hot. But I like it. <laughs> okay guys, we're playing the video game again. The people have umbrellas to stay out of the sun. All right, so many selections. Ooh. All right, so we got the phone, perfect. New sim and everything. <laughs> Do you like it? It's a sleek phone. 
Do you like it? Yeah, okay. That's all that matters. You're welcome. All right, guys. It is now gym time. For those of you that ask how I'm able to eat so much but not gain weight, that's because I do this. Hi, Mike. This is Mike, my trainer. If you haven't seen him in a previous vlog, he's the best. <laughs> We've been training together for years now. And he's also the personal trainer of Piolo Pascual and Inigo, the son. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's sweat. Okay, Mike is lifting 70 pounds of plate and 20 pounds of the bar. Total of 90 pounds for 15 counts. Okay, next, Mike will be doing 15 repetitions of chest dumbbell plies. Okay, for the abs, Mike will be doing one minute of ab workout. And then we repeat that superset another two times, increasing the weight each time. <sighs> On this next workout, Mikey will be doing a incline dumbbell chest presses. It's quite heavy. Okay, Mikey, let's okay. start now. Here we go. For Mike's next exercise, it's an alternate dumbbell curl. 20 pounds each, we'll be doing it for uh, 15 counts. It's hot! <laughs> no air con! <laughs> okay, and for Mike's last exercise, we're doing a detox for one minute. And then we repeat that two more times, increasing the weight each time. And for Mike's bicep, Mike will be doing an alternate seated dumbbell curl. Okay, Mikey. Okay. Let's start. And for his abs, Mikey will be doing a one minute knee tuck. Okay, on this next uh, set of exercises, Mike will be doing uh, dips for uh, 15 counts. Mikey, start now. Ready? <laughs> and now. Okay, and now for this uh, ab exercise of Mikey, we'll be doing a bicycle for 60 seconds. It's a combination of the lower upper abs and of course involving the obliques while he twists. Okay, Mikey, can start now. 60 seconds. And three, two, one, now. So see how strong Mikey's ab is? He can do this for 60 seconds. It hurts. <laughs> and for Mikey's bicep workout, we'll be doing a concentration double curls. Okay, start now, Mikey. Look at those biceps. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And then I repeat it two times, increasing the weight each time. Oh boy. Okay, and we're done. Mike, thank you yes, so much. <laughs> I'm dead now. Guys, if you're in Manila and you need a personal trainer, I'm gonna leave a link to Mike's Facebook contact so you guys can contact him and he can train you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mike. All right, Mabuhay squad. So we have a very special announcement. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys have been waiting to see who won our 40 passes to YTFF this year. It's a huge event taking place on May the 12th and at World Trade Center. Yeah, it's huge. So a lot of you guys have been posting, when are you gonna announce? When are you gonna announce? We're gonna announce it now. Thank you so much for all of your entries. We received how many entries? 
More than 1,000. More than 1,000 on YouTube, and that doesn't include the entries that were on Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. So before we announce these winners, we just wanted to say that all of your entries were great. It was very hard for us to choose. Thank you for joining. We read all of them. Yeah, and we chose those who had great answers, but extra points if we recognized your name, mm -hmm. right? So we wanted to give extra points to those who have been watching our videos, who've mm -hmm. been solid Mabuhay Squad. So um, if we recognized your name before, if you had commented on one of our videos prior, you guys got extra preference. So here we go. Our winners are...